Hello, and welcome to Chapter 3 of Introduction to Financial Accounting, Adjusting Accounts for Financial Statements. Chapters 1 and 2 describe the recording and reporting of economic transactions in detail. However, the account balances that were used to prepare the financial statements in those previous chapters didn't necessarily reflect the correct amounts. Remember, just because a trial balance balances doesn't mean it's correct. Chapter 3 introduces the concepts of adjusting entries and how these satisfy the matching principle, ensuring revenues and expenses are reported in the correct accounting period. We'll discuss the preparation of an adjusted trial balance and its use in completing financial statements. At the end of the accounting period, after the financial statements are prepared, it'll be necessary to close temporary accounts to retain earnings. So that process is introduced in Chapter 3, as is the preparation of what we call a post-closing trial balance. The accounting cycle and the steps performed in each accounting period that result in the financial statements are also reviewed. There are six key learning objectives for this chapter. One, to explain how the timeliness, matching, and recognition principles require the recording of adjusting entries. Two, to explain the use of and prepare the adjusting entries required for prepaid expenses, depreciation, unearned revenues, and accrued revenues, as well as accrued expenses. Three, to prepare an adjusted trial balance and explain its use. Four, to use an adjusted trial balance to prepare the financial statements. Five, to identify and explain the steps in the accounting cycle. And six, to explain the use of and prepare closing entries and a post-closing trial balance.